channel Gardening with Navard. Uh, in today's video, we are, I'm going to show you my progress that I made on my new flower bed here. And, um, and also I have a few things that are blooming right now that are really, really beautiful and I wanted to show you show them to you as well because um, you know I'm always risking them to go away and then I don't have the chance to show you because they don't stay very long. Um, anyway, um, my previous videos you probably have seen that um, I started new flower bed and this flower bed here I wanted to kind of create something more um, in inspiration of you know Italian gardens. So as you can see I have I've planted um, several uh, lemon cypresses here and I think what I'm going to do I have two lemon cypresses in my flower pots right there as well um, and I, what I'm going to do is go ahead and plant them uh, transfer them into the flower beds as well but they are really great they don't get very big um, I, I absolutely love them I love them in my pots I love them in my in a beds as well um, they don't get big they have such a beautiful light lemony green color as a foliage and um, they also um, you know they give a, a really nice winter structure as well as a, for a winter interest it, when you know everything is kind of fading away and there is nothing there is no color or anything in the flower beds I do have a few things here that I've planted um, that are going to stay green and I have a give a nice winter interest for the winter season so um, I kind of wanted to a, a little bit describe what I'm doing here um, this is a very sunny border and it's been kind of fun to work with sunny border because most of my borders that I've done they're either semi-shady and um, you know lots of hydrangeas and rhododendron you know some other things the plants that are you know th they don't like a lot of sun but this one is going to be in a, a, a sun most of the day actually pretty much all day long and um, I wanted to show you what I've planted here really quick and I have a few things here that I planted that are brand new they you know they haven't even started to grow yet and so um, I have some of the pictures that I can show you what they look like um, some of them I ordered from some websites here in France and they actually came in such a great shape really really nice plants um, been very very happy with them and if you're interested I can pop the websites um, on my on them on a video so if anyone is are interested to um, order plants they're welcome to go um, to this websites and find them I've been very happy with them really good quality plants um, that when they arrived they've been in a really good shape and good packaged well packaged um, so what I wanted to show you first, I have a um, few roses. Um, first, obviously, when you're creating, when I'm creating a border or a flower bed, what I do for me personally, what I like to do is um, first plant the structural plants or architectural plants. For example, I have the tree here, which is a cherry um, ornamental weeping cherry, which I'm really excited this year. It's doing really good, and. Um, um, I think it's just it's going to get bigger and more beautiful lots of flowers in the springtime so this is a big you know kind of a centerpiece for the flower bed um, then um, you know I've planted my anchor pieces for example my winter interest and uh, so I placed them and then after that I just go around and start you know m first I plant the taller ones in the center if you have an open border so I uh, plant the taller uh, taller plants in the center more shorter plants I bring t towards the edges because that way the taller plants will come up from the center they will be more visible will give a nice structure and then fill in with the rest of the plants that you know anyone is interested to any, anything that you like so here I've, or, I've planted several roses and the roses are really beautiful I don't have a pictures of them but uh, pictures of them but what we'll do is um, maybe we'll pop the picture on, a, on our video when um, George is preparing them for me so um, this one's called uh, they, they arrived bare root just wanted to say first they arrived bare root and for the bare root roses usually um, I soak them for a few hours in the water and then go ahead and plant them. So as I spoke, I talked to you about the soil before, you know, I meant my so uh, soil really well uh, before I plant anything in there. 
but look they're doing really great they're already leafing out um, they when they arrived they already had a little bit of a buzz where you could see that they're really healthy and they're about to start greening um, so I have few roses they're the same variety and all my roses are pretty much hybrid tea variety roses I love hybrid teas they just have such a show of flowers and that's what I love so um, I have one, two, three over there, um, three roses, and they, the name of uh, the roses are called Madame Autissier. They're very pretty, supposed to be very fragrant, uh, have a kind of a pink petals on the bottom and then more yellow in the centers. And the reason why I chose this color is because I planted salvias, and they're so small right now, but they're coming out really good and healthy so um, they're right there there is three um, that I planted they're supposed to get about meter high and uh, they're called black and blue I don't have their I don't have the picture f uh, to show you uh, but um, I will find one and I, we will pop it on a video so you can see it it's called black and blue and they're one of my absolute favorite salvias they're great they have such a uh, deep um, deep blue a cobalt blue kind of a flower color of the flowers and they also have um, uh, their stems are kind of a black color and then the blue comes out so they have a just that's why they call them black and blue it's just have very distinct dark color and I thought the roses with the kind of um, light pink and yellow would kind of go really well with the blue so I thought it would contrast well I have planted also three one here one here and then I have another one right here I have three peonies that I've planted they are coral charm peonies I have the picture of them they're one of my favorite peonies actually um, they just have a nice coral color I really like them and I thought the colors will just go with so, so good with the violet and blue and uh, you know lemony green the, this lemon cypress they actually do smell a little bit of a citrusy have a kind of a citrusy fragrance I really like them I was transplanting them from my other pots from the, my terrace and as I was bring the, bringing them out here and I could just smell the lemony citrusy kind of a piney fragrance is really really cool so um anyway I just wanted to show you hope you can see this well um, this is a coral charm that has a corally you know I had uh, previously shown my other pin is called coral sunset they're kind of similar and uh, just have a really nice corally pink colors they're very lovely anyway that's that um, this one's and I and then I planted lots of different uh, pop poppies they are uh, oriental poppies uh, they're actually doing really good they did arrive barefoot and I ordered them from the same website they came in great great shape very healthy they did great immediately they started um, look at this I mean they started growing really well you can see they're very healthy so the poppies I have they called um, uh, Picotti and uh, this is what they look like and as you can see I'm kind of going kind of going with the uh, orangey uh, corally white colors against the purples and uh, against the blues so I think they will be really nice I have several I think actually I have 12 of them or 13 of them that I planted in between and they will come up they usually uh, bloom during June I think in month of June at the end of May and June and they get quite tall so they will come up from you know different spots and uh, they'll just kind of fill in and look so pretty so I have another peony here I just planted which I found at the garden center I just love the color it's a herbaceous peony um, I don't have the uh, picture of that but um, anyway hopefully next spring when it comes up I'll show you it um, I also have planted uh, daylilies here there is one and I purchased them from the same website um, th there is this one they came uh, they arrived bare root as well but they're already doing so well I have a couple of them and I'll show you the pictures it's really it's called fantasy it has a nice creamy 
um, kind of uh, edges with deep uh, purple centers. I think it's going to be really, really beautiful. I love the color combination. It kind of looked very unique. I love unique flowers. And so I have a few of those. Um, also, I found this beautiful salvia. Look at the color. I never was into salvia before until I arrived to France. And I love salvias. They're, you know, they, they're not hard coldy. These varieties, they're not hard coldy. Where I used to live in Colorado, we could grow salvias, but, you know, it wasn't these varieties. These varieties are so amazing. Look at that. It, this is so similar to maybe salvia amistad or also black and blue because for black and blue for example this would be completely black and then it will be very deep blue flowers but this one has this beautiful dark amethyst violet color it's so gorgeous and they get about one meter tall and they can be you know a bit wide but the great thing about this this variety of salvias is that they bloom all summer long so this deep and rich color will be here in the entire summer they're amazing so i also wanted to show you um, this part here really quick it's a work in progress and i will i will show you everything that i do as I go, um, as it gets closer to the finish, it's been kind of an ongoing project, just like everything else I've done, really. Eventually, it seems like all comes together, but I still have lots of measurements to do, lots of leveling to do, obviously. There is, um, um, I'm planning, I ordered some Italian cypresses I want to plant here, and then some more uh, oriental popovers. Um, this side and uh, I also ordered some uh, intersectional peonies which are going to be here maybe here so I still have quite a bit of a work to do but I just wanted to show you that this project is actually taking on going forward it's a lot of work but at the end of the day you know it's just so nice to sit back and watch the and watch how beautiful everything is becoming um, so um, anyway, that's, I also, I, oh yes, I also wanted to tell you that I planted a gladiolus in this bed. The gladiolus called a candy bar. I thought the colors would be really pretty and I just wanted to show you. Obviously they're not, hasn't grown yet. So you can see them here in the flower bed. They will come up though, but I just planted them not too long ago. I thought it'd be really beautiful. And this entire project, I, oh yes, I wanted to tell you also about my um, lupin here that I per about to show you my lupin. I purchased two lupins from our local garden center. They are so beautiful. Look at this. It's called um, Violet Fonce, dark, dark purple. I love them. They're just beautiful. Look at that. It's such an unusual color absolutely love this lupin, lupins. I have one, planted one here, one here, and then my California lilac is just taking on. I planted last fall, and uh, this year it's blooming. I love the color. It's so gorgeous. And what, what is so great about this uh, uh, plant also is that it, it's evergreen, so it doesn't lose its leaves in the winter time, so it will be another winter interest uh, along with my lemon cypresses so this is a gardenia as you can see has lots of blooms and I, the reason i why i plant it here is so it has a great fragrance it's very fragrant plant so um, when we sit here you know it will be closer to us so we can uh, smell the amazing aroma um, I, I decided to put a seat here for the garden seat and a garden, garden bench uh, I, uh, we, we placed it here uh, because uh, this tree is going to get about 13 feet tall and then it will kind of um, arch down uh, as it has, has a whipping habit and will be kind of a shady area and will create some shade and will be kind of nice to sit under this tree and enjoy the flowers, everything that it's around. And so here... Um, there was another thing I wanted to tell you today. I, I'm experimenting something. I don't know if it's going to go the way I want. Um, I actually originally planned to do, uh, to do this all the way around, but I think I decided to just kind of experiment first and see 
if I can actually make it work first and then we'll continue if it works well. But um, this is a kind of an unusual thing, but um, I planted star jasmine. I planted star jasmine here. And usually star jasmine is a climber, so it's more tradition. The most traditional way to plant jasmine is to go up on an arch or, you know, in some kind of a structure to go climb up. But at this, but I've seen some um, some pictures on the internet and you know some other ideas that they they also can create a nice hedge like a, for the flower bed and so what i've done is um, i planted a jasmine and then uh what i do i've done is i dug just a little bit and certain places um, i placed them inside of the soil and and when they do go inside of the soil it, they start creating roots and it's creating new plants and so it basically becomes a ground cover then i can uh, when it starts growing i can actually go ahead and start trimming the tops and creating sort of a hedge almost like um, for example, like a boxwood hedge or something like that to give a structure, but also will have a great fragrance because jasmine is a very, very, has a very strong fragrance and it smells amazing to be here. And so I plant it here because we can sit here and hopefully it will flower and will give a great fragrance. But I want to try this out and see if, uh, if this is <laughs> something I can make it work. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. If it does, I think what I'll do is continue all around to go all around the bed, which would be kind of a nice structure for the rest of the plants. And it will be great fragrance as you walk by and kind of pass from the bed to bed. So this is kind of my project. This is as far as I come. Um, I wanted to talk to you just a little bit about this area. It looks crazy right now, but um, I need to, um, the, at the local store where I purchased my stepping stones, they're out right now, so I can't get them I have to wait until they arrive, but um, as soon as they arrive, I'm going to have more stepping stones inside of this pergola, not pergola, I'm sorry, um, the archway, rose arch, um, and also create a walkway here as you will be able to pass through and go on the other side of the garden. And so um, I'm hoping it will look good. I kind of started this entire project because I found this amazing wisteria, and um, this wisteria is, has a bi it's a bicolor wisteria. I was so uh, inspired by it. I decided I have to create something so it um, starts climbing and uh, uh, coming up on the archway and kind of hanging down all the clusters, and it will be so beautiful. But I wanted to show you this wisteria. It's amazing. It's um, um, this is what it looks like. It's kind of creamy white with the dark purple centers, so it's a bicolor. And I, I think it's just going to be gorgeous because as it climbs up and becomes this big specimen, uh, this big structure, you know, falling kind of down, you can see from all, this, all sides of the garden, I think it's gonna be really good architectural um, kind of a site here. So, um, so this is why I started creating everything. It's because I found this amazing wisteria and uh, it's coming up. It's quite small, but it will grow quick. So I'm, ex I'm just, uh, I'm thinking, uh, I'm sorry, I can't wait for it to start climbing and uh, kind of covering this entire thing, basically. And then we can pass through it um, and you can see it and you know, in the spring will be amazing. So um, anyway, that's kind of all. All I wanted to show you in this part, part of my uh, project, um, I, I planted boxwoods here. They are, um, you know, they're kind of dry right now, but they're coming back. As you can see, there is a new growth here. They're doing really good. Um, so both sides will be sort of a plants, and I, I'm just going to, uh, I'm, I planted. Um, boxwood hedges which i'm going to create a boxwood hedge here but and then this area i'm just going to only plant um just the annual plants i think i probably maybe some bulbs in a um, in a fall 
uh, but in the summertime, I will just leave it for the uh, annual plants. Right now, I've planted uh, lobelia, and they look, they're doing really, really great. They have this nice blue color. I don't know why I'm just kind of drawn to that blue color this summer. Usually I'm on a, you know, I'm starting to like white and then suddenly I go to blue, I don't know. But this year is just, that's, that's what happened. It's the blue, <laughs> so. But um, anyway, this is kind of what's going on. This part, obviously, it's still a long ways to go, but I am working on this area and hopefully that area will be this, this pro project for, the, for this season. Um, but while I am doing this video and showing you my new project, my progress with my new project, I wanted to show you also the, some of the things that are blooming right now and they're just so beautiful. For example, look at this iris. Since I'm standing right here, I wanted to show you this iris before it goes away. Look at that. Some of, the, some of them are already finished. Some, so this is only, this is the last of it. And it was quite tall just so gorgeous look at that the size of these flowers are amazing i have few roses here that are coming up um this bomb is actually very beautiful i don't know the name but um i have it written down um i have to look that up i have some peonies and also um this one right here is an intersectional peony it's called canary brilliance it's beautiful it has a nice kind of an apricot color in the center and it will get as creamy as it starts opening more i have some uh, um, osteospermums that i've planted love the colors here i had to widen it a little bit to kind of make everything work here this area still will evolve there is so much work needs to be done but eventually i will get there but before, uh, and I also have a peony right there. It's an inter another intersectional peony. I have a second bloom coming up. I might have to go there so I can show you. So um, there is a second bloom right here that is coming up as well. But this one is, as you can see, just started losing some of its petals. But I just thought it was such a beautiful color with this Japanese maple kind of falling over with the color of the uh, Ito peony. Uh, it's, it's called a first arrival and it, it, the color combination, I just thought, thought it was so beautiful and I wanted you to see that. So anyway, so that's the part that, um, this, that's in this area. I also wanted you to see some of the roses that are blooming right now and they're gorgeous. Obviously my calla lilies here, I, I had so many blooms this year, they just keep coming and coming. It's been such a gorgeous, gorgeous sight. Um, love the calla lilies. Last year I had, you know, maybe one or two blooms. This year they just still keep blooming. I love it. This is my new uh, peony that just opened. They're very small yet, I, yet and uh, I planted them last year. Uh, this is their first year of bloom and it's kind of similar to Ball of Beauty. I don't know the name, but it, it's very pretty. And also I wanted you to see some of my roses. They're just gorgeous. Oh, this tree is doing really great. I love this tree. I'm not sure if this tree is on the, in the right spot, but I am going to keep it for now, uh, keep it here for now because um, I, I still don't know where I'm going to move it. I'm, hope, I'm thinking to move maybe up there in, uh, on a hillside where you can really see it. This is called um, summer chocolate, Albizia summer chocolate. And if, as you can see uh, close up, the leaves are kind of a burgundy. Um, and uh, in a, when the sun shines, it's just gorgeous. And it has a nice kind of a pink flowers actually, but it's very small. It's coming, coming, doing really good this year. Um, I have another iris here, but also wanted to show you my rose tree. Look at this beautiful rose tree. I have so many buds on this rose tree, and then I have the flower. It's looking really good right now. So I wanted to share this because the flowers go away so quickly. You know, I wanted to make sure that I can capture them while they are just coming, coming up. They're still here. And then my climbing rose is doing really great. Um, if any of you guys are interested about this climbing rose, Palace Royale, it looks like what it has a light pink centers. 
the pink is a little more distinct when it's just opening but then it gets lighter and lighter as the flower mature for example this one you can see there is still some pink left in the centers and this is what reminds me of france because of this creamy pastel kind of colors that's the reason i chose this climbing rose here is because it's it's just it reminds me of france and i had to have this one it's just gorgeous and i have so many blooms and it's grown so much this year i'm so excited so i'm just learning how to train the climbing roses so it's doing good so far this area here i have a, another rose that i wanted you to see it's amazing um, some of them are kind of maturing but this one right here look at this this is perfection look at that isn't this amazing rose it's so beautiful i think it has kind of a light yellow centers a little bit and it's amazing it's just so beautiful doing really great very healthy have several buds on it and then i have one right here and i can't remember the name of this because i purchased this rose be way before that i was thinking to do the videos and um and i didn't save the label but it's look at the size of this rose it's amazing oops i'm not sure how to look at that isn't this so beautiful it's a creamy center but it kind of gets more white as it starts maturing it's just absolutely stunning this one also is great um i haven't it, this is the first year it's actually blooming for me it was in a planted in a different spot and um, they it didn't do well so i transplanted them last year and i have lots and lots of buds on it buds this year they're doing great so i'll show you maybe in the next video when i have one open um i also wanted you to see a couple of things here really quick my formal rose garden is doing amazing look i have a flower already opening and they all have lots of lots of buds they all will open together and when they do i have to make do uh, i have to make a video because i have to show you this this uh, these roses are just really beautiful and i have peace rose here they, they are almost finished though but i have other buds that are coming up This one already matured quite a bit, so as they mature, it gets darker, and as they open, it gets more. Uh, it, it it starts with a much more yellower color, but it's really pretty. This one is almost finished, but you can see. So uh, this one is already finished, but look at my irises. I kind of wanted to show you. I uh, all these irises. I love this color. This kind of a pink peach peach color so beautiful love this irises but i have another rose that is blooming right now it's called double delight and look at this it starts with the uh, creamy white edges thought maybe light pink with a dark uh, i'm sorry the white centers and then dark edges and then when it matures it gets darker so pretty it's amazing and it smells it has a great fragrance too which is you know really hard to find roses nowadays that are very fragrant so also just really quick i have another rose blooming here i just think it's so pretty look at that it was very small one when i purchased this one but look how sweet this rose is it's white with the beautiful uh, raspberry pink edges uh, it was very small when i purchased this last year from uh, one of our markets in real mall and um, it's doing really good i have two flowers this year it's great it's growing i have a acantha blooming for the first time this bloom look at this look at the size of this bloom you guys i have to show you when it actually blooms i can't wait it's blooming for the first time it was very small when I purchased them about two years ago or three years ago, 
I was so excited to see the bod. And then we have uh, these irises here that I wanted to show you. I just think it's such a beautiful side right here. I have lots of irises. I have peonies that are budding even more. And the, as you can see, they're huge. They have such a big um, bud. They're herbaceous peonies. But what I do, I usually just pick the small buds off of it, as you can see right here. Uh, you, maybe you can come up close up right there. See, I, I take the small buds off of it, and that way uh, the bush um, concentrates its strength on just one bud, and that way they get straight and really and produces really large flowers, which are going to be really pretty this year. But these uh, iris irises are just so pretty because they all kind of came together against the rose tree and the peony, uh, intersectional peonies. And uh, we have a rose tree here that it's already get, getting started to open. So everything is just coming together so beautifully. But this is so beautiful. I have one more beautiful rose here. It's white. It's actually one of my favorites. It has really beautiful, big, beautiful flower kind of a large, it's a hybrid tea as well. All my roses are hybrid tea. I have some miniatures, but this one definitely is one of my favorite. It has lots of petals. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, I also wanted to update you really quick. I wanted to update you in how my uh, annuals are doing because I just wanted to show you. In the last video, I planted all these annuals here and look it's doing really really pretty doing ab absolutely gorgeous i have lots of color against the foliage of the boxwood and it's looking just lovely and as you can see the campanula it really complements all the annual flowers they love i love the campanula this season i probably should plant more of them anyway thank you so much for watching and thanks so much for all of your support this is so much fun to share all my flowers with you i am so excited every time i have to do a video and show you all of everything that is new and blooming and my new projects um, if you did like my video please subscribe uh, and give me thumbs up uh, and i will see you in the next time bye